there is a, a big amount of old buildings in Coimbra, most of them vacant. Most of these buildings in the city centres have severe problems like uh, excess humidity, fungus on the walls, and most of all, they are very cold in the winter. Currently, people are not attracted to the city centre because they think that these houses are not comfortable and they think they will pay very big bills of energy on keeping them warm. Many of the people that live in the city centre already live in full poverty. That way, they are not able to invest in renewable energies or in rehabilitating their own houses. So the investigation demonstrated that it's possible to reach very good energy efficiency levels, but it also showed that it's very expensive to do it alone. And so that led to a solution. We had to find a collective way to do things in neighborhood scale so that the prices could be lowered and the investment could be attractive to a huge amount of persons. First, we must find the local community actors that can join the people into this common goal. Then we have to find a way to match that with the local policies and uh, ongoing projects. Then we really have to study the best way to do it and that's where science goes in. And finally, we need an investor someone who will know that by participating in these kind of projects, they can help us achieve an, a goal which is important for Europe, but also they can get a payback of their investment. So we found a way to bring to this equation external actors like the energy service companies. Energy service companies already have the experience and the know-how to do this with big industries and service, but if you have to adapt this to, to residential area and to city centers, you'll need to engage people. To achieve this, it's really important to involve local associations because they can make the bridge between industry, science and people. So the project tries to um, use a, a particular and specific building in the historical center of Quimber, uh, which is degraded, in order to recover, retrofit the building to make it uh, comfortable and energy efficient. And for that purpose, we're using uh, several approaches for both for heating and lighting and other energy services. For example, it's possible to find locations to group panels solar in areas that don't compromise the relationship with the historic center and prejudice its image. The solution uh, is not to intervene in each building. It's to use the centralized solutions, for instance, to provide a, um, um, a heat generation uh, centrally and then distribute it along pipes through the historical center and those pipes are distributing heat to every building so you, you assure thermal comfort to every building without spoiling the image. In the centralized um, heating station you can use renewable energy, renewable sources and then you have tourist attraction, you have well-being, you have satisfied people uh, without spoiling anything. And, and nevertheless, you have comfort and sustainable comfort, which is the most important thing, right? The strength of the common efficacy approach is that it can be applied in all the historic centers where there is a will to achieve better quality of life, more comfort and energy savings at the same time. And all it needs is the will to make it happen.